Hi there, my name's Jeremy Stretton and I'm a lawyer at SMS Law and I just wanted to quickly run through the business startup checklist. So you would have seen the link before. If you go to smslaw.com.au slash startup, uh, you can download a copy of this checklist. Uh, and basically what it does is it just goes through the uh, 16 top things that we uh, think you need to do when you start up a business. So uh, you know, working out your goals, really, really important. If you don't know where you're going, you have no idea how you're gonna get there. So make sure that you sat down and worked out your goals for your business. You've got to have a think about what involvement do you want to have with your business. Depending on the type of business, that might be 100%, it might be 50%. You need to have a think about what involvement you're going to have in that business. You need to work out your competition and your market. These are really, really important because you need to know what your competitors are doing, where they're selling, and also who you're going to sell to. So make sure that you're doing that. You need to think about what right financial resources you have because running a business is tough. You need to uh, have financial backing to be able to do that. So make sure you've thought about that. If you need to borrow money, you need to think about where you can obtain funds, where you can borrow money from. Are there banks that can lend you money? Are there other government grants that you could obtain? Then you need to work out your ideal customer. This is a pretty important process. You need to make sure that you know who you're selling to and who you want to work with. If you don't, then you'll be a scattergun approach and you won't be able to get any clarity over your business. Then you've got to work out where you will find that ideal customer. That's part of that process. Then you need to work out your startup costs. Work out where you will locate your business. You know, there's a lot of people working from home right now and that might be the case for you in the future. Uh, or you might want to um, get a, a premises, uh, depending on whether you want an office or a retail shop or an industrial business uh, premises. You need to think about all those things. Then you need to select a lawyer and, and an accountant who can help you to set up your business properly. Doing it now will save you a lot of money in the future. Then you need to work out the uh, in consultation with your lawyer and accountant what entity you will operate the business from. Will you be a sole trader? Will you be a company? Will you be a trust? Uh, then you need to set up the actual entity that you can operate your business from. Set up business insurance, really, really important. If you need to borrow money, make the application. Create terms and conditions uh, and have them vetted by a lawyer. And then if you're going to have employees, make sure that you get employment contracts. As I said before, my name's Jeremy Stretton. I'm one of the uh, lawyers at SMS Law. If you want to uh, inquire anything more, you can email me at jeremy at smslaw.com.au or the firm at info, info at smslaw.com.au and we'd be happy to help. Have a great day.